dig into the facts on this, we've invited today Chris Ashby, a Republican campaign finance and election lawyer. Thanks for joining. Um, viewers who saw the last segment will have seen a Republican who was pointing to certain regularities in certain elections uh, to try to argue for Donald Trump's claims. You were moved to write a piece walking through why it doesn't work like this. What did you mean? Well, if you wanted to try to hack or rig an election, there might be a couple of ways that you would try, but the, the system is designed to prevent that. You could try to, to hack a voting machine, but the voting machines aren't networked, so it's not like you can surf over to a voting machine on election day and hack into it. You'd have to get physical access, and these machines are stored under lock and key. They're protected by tamper seals, and uh, they're subjected to logic and accuracy testing, and that testing is observed by the public. So there are a lot of... Uh, you know, procedures and safeguards that are in place that would prevent you from physically hacking and manipulating a machine. You also uh, explain you, here in your piece, you document exactly how localized the process is, that basically there are local officials, community members, Republicans, Democrats, and independents involved in this all across the country. Listening to Donald Trump, someone might think that there was some sort of D.C. crooked government role in this, but but you explain that that is actually has nothing to do with it. It's all local and it's all bipartisan. Is that right? It is local. It's bipartisan, and, and our elections are run and conducted by ordinary Americans, and they're drawn from lists that are provided by both parties, and they serve as the election officials. They check voters in, they help them vote, they tally up the results, and they create the record of the election at the end of the day. And then standing right behind them are two more sets of ordinary Americans, or or even more. Uh, representatives of the parties, of independent candidates, of minor parties, and then you've also got local and state election administrators overseeing this whole process, and it's all taking place in one big open public room. So you would have to have this vast bipartisan conspiracy of all these people, and you'd right. have to have it in precincts across the state and states across America. And it's so, just not possible. Right. So when you look at that, what you really have here is, to the extent that Donald Trump's saying this and some Republicans, Ryan Spreeb is sort of trying to defend part of it, they're really attacking themselves. They're attacking Republican officials around the country if they're saying that they can't hold these elections. Well, sure they are, and they're attacking Republican governors and secretary of states and swing states like Florida and North Carolina, Ohio, and Iowa. And they're also attacking the system that reelected George W. Bush and that put Republican majorities in both houses of Congress. Chris Ashby, uh, we appreciated what you wrote about this and uh, joining us to walk through the facts today. Thanks for having me. Absolutely.